Hi and welcome to this video. We have seen many times that Scotland has an amazing amount of prehistoric monuments. Sadly a few have been lost over time but so many more still remains. Some are well known and others are just quietly sitting in the landscape, untouched, unnoticed and holding secrets of civilizations long gone. Inverness has a rich and ancient history dating back thousands of years. The region surrounding Inverness has evidence of human inhabitation from the Mesolithic, Neolithic and Bronze Ages. Prehistoric sites and monuments offer a glimpse into the life and culture of early inhabitants in the area. Most people when they come here will visit the well-known Clavacairns, as they are known, which are a style of burial mounds. While I did visit them, they will be for another video. For this video we are visiting one of the lesser known monuments. This is Torbeck Stone Circle, which was difficult to find. In true style, my first attempt on my own, I couldn't find it. Second attempt, and with some help, although it did take a while, we did finally find it. And I'm so glad we did, and it seems to be at the perfect time of day, just as the sun started to go down. <music> This stone circle does not have any significant amount of historical or archaeological documentation readily available. Although it does get a brief mention in Aubrey Bell's book, The Stone Circles of the British Isles, it is a very brief mention as he mentions it is a stone circle, not a type of clavicairn. This site was visited by James Fraser in around 1883 where he mentions that the circle of Torbeck seems to have been interfered with in improving with the field in which it stands. At one time three concentric circles with a passage connected to the inner and outer rings were visible. Fraser talks about a plan of nine evenly spaced upright stones. It does not appear to be part of a chambered cairn. Fraser suggests that the stones were moved and it seems more likely that it was a stone circle. start with I couldn't find anything else out and was starting to feel it was going to be one of the stone circles with a big question mark over it. I was about to give up but that wasn't until I found a report from an archaeological report dated 2003 but even then the report wasn't a full excavation of the stone circle but one because archaeological reports have to be completed when planning application for new buildings and this was the case. Neolithic pottery and flints were found in the area during the excavations which helped to date what was going on here. Given these findings, it is likely that this ancient origins, Torbeck would have been part of a broader prehistoric landscape of Scotland where ritual activities and gatherings and possibly even astronomical observation took place
There is something magical about visiting a lesser known stone circle, a place where the world seems to pause untouched by the bustling crowds or the steady hum of modern life. These hidden sanctuaries offer a quiet intimacy that famous landmarks often lack, allowing visitors to feel as though they've stumbled upon a secret forgotten by time. The stones, weathered by centuries, stand tall and silent, whispering stories only the patient can hear. In the stillness, there's a sense of connection not just to the earth beneath your feet, but to the countless generations who stood there before you, drawn by the same inexplicable pull. Here, nature reclaims the space and the simplicity of the surroundings invite a kind of reflection that's hard to find elsewhere. In these monuments, away from the crowd, that the true magic of such places reveal itself, speaking to the part of us that craves solitude, history and the mystery all at once. Out of all the stone circles I have visited, this one stands apart. There's something about its quiet grandeur, its untouched beauty, that lingers long after I left. Unlike the well-trodden paths of more famous sites, this circle feels raw, almost sacred, as if it's been waiting, undisturbed, for those who truly seek it. The stones here seem to hum with an ancient energy, each one uniquely weathered, yet part of a greater whole, standing steadfast against time's relentless march. What seals this place apart isn't just its solitude, but the atmosphere it creates. There's a stillness in the air, feeling that the earth beneath is rich with stories of untold secrets that only reveal themselves to those willing to listen. Here, away from the noise of the world, we can feel the pulse of something older, something primal. Each stone carries the weight of centuries, as if silently watching, waiting for the right moment to reveal its mysteries. In this circle, you're not just a visitor, you're part of its long history, standing where others stood, feeling what they might have felt. It's not just the stones themselves that capture you, but the way they interact with the landscape, the play of light and shadow, the wind that seems to carry whispers, and the sense that you're standing on the crossroads of time. This is more than a destination. It's a reminder of our small place in this grand tapestry of history. For me, that's what makes this circle unforgettable.
thank you so much for watching and supporting this channel. I truly appreciate every single one of you. Whether you're a viewer, subscriber, Patreon or channel member, your continuing encouragement and generosity means the world to me and allows me to keep creating content we are passionate about. I cannot do this without you and I'm so grateful to have such an amazing community. Thank you for being part of this journey and until the next time, stay safe.